Hello, in this Cisco networking, I will be discussing about this NAT. NAT is nothing but network address translation. So here, the purpose of NAT, the original intention for NAT was to slow down the depletion of available IP addresses. By allowing many private IP addresses to be represented some small number of public IP addresses. You know, in this, uh, I mean, in this, uh, public IP addresses are priced, whereas your LAN IPs are free of cost. So normally, in every organization, we use this private IPs. So whenever you want to communicate with the internet, then this NAT is a must. That is network address translation. So let us uh, focus on how this NAT and uh, types of NAT Okay, and also how we can configure this NAT. So benefits of NAT, you need to connect to the internet, okay, and your hosts have global unique IP addresses. And the other advantages are you change your service provider, still you need not rename your or renumber your IPs in the entire network. So the NAT protocol will take care of the public addressing system. You need to merge two intranets with the duplicate addresses. So there are a number of benefits of NAT. Okay. So when we discuss about the types of NAT, there is a static NAT, dynamic NAT, and PAT. PAT is nothing but port address translation, which is also called as overload. Let us uh, brief about static, dynamic, and PAT. Of course, in the real-time world, we use only PAT. We don't use static or dynamic also. We'll see the advantages. Static NAT, see each and every system needs to be assigned at the router end. Each and every 1-1 IP to 1-1 uh, private IP to 1 public IP. So in that way, there are huge number of disadvantages like wastage of public IPs. So for that, what we have gone through Yeah, here in this dynamic NAT, uh, what we generally do is that we create a pool, okay, pool here, IP NAT, pool, and then the range of uh, public IPs which you have, okay, like if you have 10 IPs, you can give 10 IPs, 20 IPs, 50, 1, 2 IPs, whatever is the number. So from that pool, it will be all the addresses will be taken, whichever is available, this private IPs will uh, send a request to the router and from the router the pool where whichever IP is available it gives uh, for that particular translation once the translation is over it again returns back to the pool in that way this uh, pool of uh, dynamic really helps through but whereas when you go through this uh, port address translation you see here uh, this is your inside I mean the corporate side 10 series as the IP address which is there and this is the corporate route, router and this is the public address internet. So here you can see inside how it happens is that you have various IPs with various ports the data coming through and at the router end you can say inside global, global means is the public. So outside means outside internet and okay we don't have inside global. Uh, so what it happens is that you have only one IP here. In the pool, in the port address translation, you have only one IP. So one IP will communicate to the outside world to different parts or to different IP uh, addresses with different ports. Again, I repeat, each and every system or the request which has come to the router. So in this router, we have only one IP, one public IP. Many private IPs, public IP one. These requests will be sent to the internet to various transactions or various uh, systems with various ports. You can see here this port is changing, but but whereas your IP remains the same. So this is how the inside translation and the return back. Once it has come back, the return is called as an outside translation. Okay. So let me uh, quickly draw the diagram in Cisco Packet Tracer. And then I will start configuring this NAT protocol. 
So what I need to do is that I'll quickly draw the diagram of uh, two routers. Uh, one is generic. So this is a very very important access. This is most of the time we real time uh, we generally do across. Okay, and I'll also show you how you can configure default route in this exercise itself. So I'm just drawing some uh, systems here, and also I'm quickly connecting. So the more you practice, the more will be the advantages. Okay, so this is uh, one part of the network. Maybe I can say from my internal. Okay, and this is external, where is remote. Only difference will be this will be your LAN IPs and this will be your WAN IPs. I mean, intra internet. So here I'm going to uh, give my serial DCE. Okay, so my network diagram is ready. What I'm going to give this is, uh, I'll write it as here. This is 192.168.1.0.24 network. And uh, this can be maybe, I can say 212.10.11.2.24, okay. So this is some public system, public, anything other than 192 or 172.16 or maybe 10 dot series is called as public IPC. Okay. So here I give some random 90 dot 5 dot. Okay. Or maybe 6 dot 0 slash 24. This is 1. So now here I configure my system. That, that's enough. I configure my basic router en conf host name. I can say this is home home router enable secret star. Okay, uh, interface fa0 by 0 IP space address 192.168.1.1255.255. Zero, no shut and right angle. So this uh, router is uh, ready with the configuration. I just set with this IP address also configuration. So my gateway is uh, 192 168.1.1 and Ethernet IP is uh, 192 168.1.2. Okay. The same one here also I can give 168.1.3 gateway sorry gateway is 1.1 right so from my system my gateway is ready I need to configure my serial interface also config interface Upon zero IP space address, what is IP address? Two one two dot ten dot eleven dot one two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero. No shut. Okay, this is done. Now let me configure my router B here. No, en county of host name. I can say ISP service provider. Okay, enable secret. Okay, interface IP zero by zero. IP space address uh, is ninety dot. I think five dot six. Okay, five dot six dot one. I'll give. 1, 255, 255, 255 no shut. Okay, that is done. Similarly, I will configure exit interface serial 2 upon 0, my IP space address. Okay, uh, that is uh, 212, 10, 11, 2. 10, 11, 2. 
slash zero no shut. Right. So change has been up done and 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 with say so all my service uh, what we call is uh, uh, configuration basic configuration is done. So my next step is to establish a route. So here what I am going to do since my system saw needs to communicate to the other end, uh, I will establish a default route. Okay. Normally uh, we do that uh, default route in many service provider locations. Okay. Can't be. How do we establish this? Uh, IP route. Default route is 0.0.0, .0, .0 means any network with any, any subnet mask needs to I mean all the data whichever is coming can be forwarded to this particular IP address that is 202. next hop 10.11.2 okay 212.10.11.2 I repeat okay right this is how uh, the default route is established okay so uh, now my next link is uh, basically to set up the access control list okay so i will allow the access control list basically uh, what all needs to be sent across so configure access list maybe a basic one is enough then uh, permit what is that uh, 192 168 my network 1.0 is my network uh, and our WCM is 0 .0 0.0.0.255 okay right uh, now the real uh, things uh, come across so I'm accessing I'm allowing everything I'm allowing everything so IP NAT is the command IP NAT pool I need to define a pool pool name is Anand okay and uh, I can say my IP which is given to this interface that is 212.10. Because only one IP I have. So I want to do this PAT port address translation. I'll show you. 212.10.11.1. This is the beginning address. And the last address is also the same. So which is uh, 212.10.11.1. And that mask is 255.255.255.0. Perfect. The pool is created. Now we need to assign this pool to the interface. Okay. So IP NAT inside. So once the pool is created, we need to assign the inside. I mean source list. That is the permission. Uh, that is 10. Okay. Pool is Anand. and say overload that is for that is meant for overload means it is meant for port address translation okay the pool is defined so now assign uh, to the interface in and out interface uh, fa 0 by 0 ip nat <coughs> sorry ip nat inside exit interface I mean the traffic this is inside and this is outside okay the outside NAT interface serial 2 upon 0 IP NAT outside and so right here all my configuration is done so what I can do I can say save as NAT into my uh, file NAT Okay, so I can test now. So I, what I, I will uh, see this one. Uh, I can go to command prompt. You see uh, two things I will keep aside and this router also is here. Okay, so here I am going to ping my remote system. It's a ping or any activity you can do to a remote system. It should be able to ping. This is uh, the IP is maybe 90.5.6.0. I, I don't know whether we have given the IP to this system. Desktop, sorry, we are not given. 90.5.6.1 gateway. 
ninety dot five dot six dot two. It's not two fifty five two fifty five dot zero. Perfect. So now let me ping to uh, ping ninety dot maybe I can say five dot six dot two or one. Uh, yeah, it's keep pinging to the gateway. So now, parallelly, what you can do is that you can ask here itself, show IP NAT translations. Yeah, it has shown you the translation here. Please understand this one. What exactly has done? So from my system, okay, from my system, this is inside. You can see, uh, inside global, inside local is this one. 1.1, 1 .1. that is... Uh, for every four packets, four different ports, which is one, two, three, four. This is global. Inside global means my inside is always this one, outside is this. Global uh, is uh, uh, internet, uh, uh, I mean, local is intranet, I mean, private. Okay, so here outside, you can see outside with the other side. Uh, what you can see is that the port only with one IP here inside global with one IP that is 11.1. Uh, one, two, three, four. The ports has been changed. The ports has been changed. Like this. Once again, one dot one. Uh, you can see this. The translations. Yeah. The four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whatever the number of times the translations goes through. I mean that it becomes. So what else are the commands which are there? So in this way, this that uh, statistics also can be seen. Okay, you can see the statistics. So total of uh, five, uh, there are hits about eight, misses about nine, expired is four. I mean, after a period of time, the translations gets expired. Okay, so this is about uh, this mat. Uh, that's all about this exercise. Thank you. Bye.